Medrills are novel new apps for iPad, iPhone, and Android devices that teach combat casualty care tasks to military medics and corpsmen. Based on U.S. Army Combat Medic MOS-68W training standards, Medrills utilizes virtual medical simulation and the unique capabilities of mobile devices to promote active learning of combat casualty care. Traditional online medical training is text-based and relies on a PowerPoint-style format. Medrills utilizes a novel, patent-pending, gesture-based learning approach to provide virtual medical simulation. Medrills can be used during initial training or for sustainment training. Medrills is ideal for both maintaining task competency and earning CSPIM's accredited continuing education credits for maintaining NREMT certification. The mobile device format is ideal for hip pocket training taking advantage of small opportunities of training time. To highlight the capabilities of Medrills platform, this video will demonstrate needle chest decompression with Medrills. Each Medrills app consists of three modes, an instruction mode, a training mode, and a testing mode. Instruction mode uses industry-leading 3D graphics to teach emergency medicine concepts. A typical Medrills instructional video covers a disease or injury and the associated pathophysiology, diagnostic criteria such as tracheal deviation and jugular distension, as well as treatment procedures, and potential complications. Training mode allows users to utilize gesture-based learning to simulate skills. Medrills training is designed to use active learning to stress key aspects of each step of a medical task. Medrills uses game-based techniques to ensure that users know the proper order to perform steps of a medical task. For diagnostic steps, Medrills presents visual, audio, and tactile cues to provide medical diagnosis training. For instance, when diagnosing a tension pneumothorax, a user may be presented with a visual depiction of a distended jugular vein, audio representation of diminished breath sounds, or if using a mobile device equipped with a vibrate function, they will be able to feel the virtual patient's pulse. Trainees will learn to distinguish between positive and negative cases. Once the diagnostic steps are completed, the user performs the medical task using gesture-based virtual medical simulation. A series of interactives is used to test critical learning objectives of each step of the task, such as identify critical landmarks including needle insertion site or the proper method to disinfect a needle insertion site. Casualties don't come in multiple choice formats, so Medrills makes use of open-ended, gesture-based interactives. This requires trainees to have true knowledge instead of a lucky guess on a multiple choice question. Throughout training mode, users are provided multiple chances to demonstrate competence. If a user gets a step wrong multiple times, they are shown the proper technique for completing the task. When appropriate, Medrills uses anatomy augmented visualizations. Views of the internal anatomy can help a trainee obtain a better understanding of the relationship between an external task and its effect on the patient internally. Once training is complete, the user can then use the testing mode to earn continuing education credits. Testing mode makes use of the same style interactives as training mode but users are only graded upon completion of the task. Users must perform a set number of interactives correctly while not failing any critical steps of the procedure. To learn more about how Medrills can improve your combat casualty training, visit www.medrills.com.